everyone, I'm Gallum and I'm a makeup artist in Hong Kong. I would like to share with you all the new makeup products that I've recently bought online. And it took me two months to receive it. It's a long story, but it's amazing. And it's actually from Pat McGrath. So you know Pat McGrath, she's my inspiration. Basically, I met her in 2003 in New York Fashion Week backstage. And whenever I came back to Hong Kong, I decided to become a makeup artist. So she's really my idol. She's um, inspired me to become a makeup artist. And I love her product and her makeup. And in this box, wow, it's a really big box full of treasure. You can see, can you see? This amazing packaging. Like, ta -da! Super sequence. And then, ta -da! Oh. <laughs> a gold pack of secrets. So, this is actually Pat McGrath Skin Fetish 003. If you go to Instagram or Facebook, you'll probably see her product. And this is a golden version, and that's a nude version. So, I'm gonna open the golden one because I think like my skin tone will suit better for the golden tone. Like, I'm a bit more tan right now. Okay, whoa, so excited. Let me open this. Kinda wanna make a mess, but I don't wanna clean up later, you know? So, all these gold letters. Well, they're more like sequins, amazing. So, inside, there you can see a brush. And then, there's this stick which I will tell you more about it later. And I believe there's another product inside, but let me see. Yeah. <laughs> it is right here. Wow, it's a lot of gold sequins. Oh my god. Wait. Sorry. Be patient. Ta da! Can you see? Well, Basically, what this is, is actually a set of shimmer and highlight products which we all love because everyone now uh, who asked me to do the makeup is like can you make like contouring for me, can you make my nose taller and all my face like more 3D so this is a great product so basically like the stick is actually a cream highlighter I haven't tried it so I'm gonna see okay so this side, I remember, is a balm, which means it provides a bit more moisture and it's a bit sticky. Can you see the little glow shiny on my hand? Well, but this is the balm, it's not at the actual highlight yet. So the other side is a highlighter, which is the best part. So what you do, you can use your middle finger, fourth finger, so I'm, I need a mirror. It dab onto the cheekbone. Can you see? It's hard to see right now. But you can definitely see how shine to make your face looks like. So what you can do, you can put it on your nose. Just straight, wow, something I have very tunnels. And also of course this side. You can dab it with your finger, no problem. Wow, you can definitely see the highlight on the screen. And then like another thing if like if you want more pouty lips, you can also do on your cubic ball which is that little line that stick out you probably use your fingertip to put on it and a little bit on the lips this is called a cubic bowl like so one two three four like this mountain so you can definitely see it's more pouty now so you don't need really need to use those lip pump you know because they're kind of like I've tried it one time, I didn't really like how stingy on your lips. Alright, 
if you want to make it even more sh like highlight 3D on your face, you can definitely use this product, which is the powder form. And I'm gonna use the brush they provided. Okay, completely new, so I need to check out from the packaging. All right, cool. It's like a brush, very nice and fluffy. Okay, just dab this product. Usually, wow, well, this is like super fine product. You can't really see like those powder running around, you know, because normally you do that. I'll tap it anyways. So I'll just put it on top. Can you see that highlight glow on the cheekbone? I'll do the other side. Well, you don't really have to like, you know, sometimes like when I do makeup for people, like for the contouring, they always do this they suck in their lips and then like to create that I don't really need them to do that because like you can kind of like know where you should put the highlighter so maybe just a little bit on my nose because it's really shiny it's amazing a little bit will be very nice and of course you can use it on your eyelid so I'm gonna use my finger you see cannot be so close so what you do you just put on here so this way it will create more dimension onto your eye just keep like blend it a little bit because it might be too much for daytime like wow I feel like so contoured obviously like our face as a nation is usually less dimensional compared to like Westerner or like other, I don't know, like Eurasian. So maybe like we need a bit more contouring, like shading this time. So this one is from Evlon. I I bought them from Joyce Beauty, and it's really cool because there's a brush coming with it. And then what you do, I just do kind of I use the top of the ear as a measurement, so you can just do this. So you can see how the light hit here where it glows and then contour will be like on this side and then like because sometimes on my on camera or like in real life I actually might have a double chin because I'm quite I don't know my face sometimes looks a bit bigger so I'll do this along the jawline you just brush and then a little bit on the neck. I don't want too much because sometimes if you wear a white or light color shirt, it, you might get the the brown powder on it, which is shading powder. Same thing on this side here. I for a double chin here. Same thing. Use the ear as your measuring point and go low, but try not to cover your blush because you put blush on before. And I will go around your like the hairline just because like you know sometimes we oh I say sometimes so many times oh my god uh, well so basically we need to do around your forehead your hairline because uh, when we get sun this part you probably won't get too much sun on your scalp so it will be white and if you put foundation, it might look like a mask, so you want to eliminate that. So I'll do that. Well, on the mirror, it looks very natural. I need to see uh, on the camera and see how it looks like, but, but the highlight is amazing. Well, I feel like my face is a little bit like pale without the blush, so I'm gonna use this. Becca, one of my favorite blush in the whole world, I would say. It's called Flower Child. Flower Child. And I'm using my own brush. Color makeup brush. And you smile. You just dab it on the apple cheek. Smile. Ta-da! I think that's pretty good, right? It's hard to see. Oh my god, I need to figure out where to do this better. And until next time, I'll tell you more about the new product on the market.